everybody, and welcome to Living Room Wisdom, where your story is your glory. I am Petrina Wisdom, author, speaker, movement leader, and your host, of course. And today I'm very excited for this episode with a great girlfriend of mine who's just an amazing person, but also I've been able to watch her grow as an entrepreneur after 25 years at the Postal Service. 33, 33 actually. 33 years at the Postal <laughs> Service. And um, I've had the pleasure of working with her, mentoring her, and watching her grow as an entrepreneur, but also watching her grow as a person. She has attended one of my retreats, yes. the Pure Abundance Retreat in Belize, and um, we just have developed a really great friendship as a result, right? Yes. So I've introduced you a little bit, but I would <laughs> love for you to introduce yourself to the audience, who you are, your contribution in the world, and whatever else you'd like to share. Okay. Well, thanks so much for that introduction, <laughs> Ms. Petrina. Well, as she said, my name is Patricia. I actually met Petrina about two years ago, and we're actually business partners yep. right now. I was with the Postal Service for 33 years and retired recently in 2019. I actually retired because I took over caregiving for my mom. So my mom actually lives with me. She's 82 and she has Alzheimer's. So that's my primary job, but, <laughs> <Why that part? laughs> but now actually um, I met Petrina like a week or two after I retired and I came to her office for some financial advice. So I got my financial advice and I also fell in love with the mission and the crusade that um, we do in the financial services industry. So now I am a financial service agent and I help people become financially independent. I actually looked for the advice for myself first and I got that information and now I'm just developing into this person um, of helping others and actually sharing that information and financial concepts with people to create legacies for their family. So that's what I'm doing now and I'm so excited. I'm so excited that I met this woman and so excited to have her as my mentor in my life. So, yeah, that's so. beautiful. Thank you for sharing. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that I've really admired about Patricia since we've been working together mm -hmm. is that, you know, a lot of people decide to get into entrepreneurship and they're kind of looking for the easy button, right? They're looking for the easy button. They're looking for reasons why they can't do something versus exactly. the reasons why they can or why they must do something. <laughs> And Patricia is not that person. She's mm -hmm. a person who she could use her mom as an excuse for not mm -hmm. being able to show up or mm -hmm. not being able to study or, you know, any number mm -hmm. of reasons. And she doesn't. She always is figuring out a way to make things happen. So that tenacity makes you a natural born leader, but it also makes you perfect for entrepreneurship. Mm -hmm. And one of the other things I know about you just mm -hmm. through our relationship over the past couple of years is that you've had a lot of challenges in Ooh. your life. <laughs> you've had a lot of challenges lot. in your life. Exactly. And I would love for you to share, you know, maybe one challenge that you can think of, uh, or maybe if they're connected, what you learned from those challenges and how they contributed to who you are today as far as your attitude and the way that you approach life. Okay. Um... The biggest challenge that I've had in my life is actually being the caregiver, not only for my mom, mm. <laughs> but for my whole family. Mm. So that's something that I've taken a responsibility on myself mm. and um, just trying to make sure everybody else is good. My whole journey in life was trying to make sure everybody else is good. Mm. And I got to the point where I wasn't taking care of myself. Right. Mm -hmm. So, and I'm a cry baby, so. <laughs> and tears are welcomed here. Tears are welcomed So here. they might come up sometimes, yeah. but yeah, that's yeah. what I do. And, um, and it makes me feel good right. to be in that position to be able to help others. Mm -hmm. So um, that's what I've done most of my life. And it's been a challenge of trying to get out of that uh, pattern of helping others and to finally take care of myself. So now I feel like I'm in a position where I'm spending more time with um, making sure everything is right for me. Mm -hmm. So I'll be 60 years old in a couple of years. Yes. So um, I, I'm just trying to get my life straight to where um, it's just I'm taking care of myself. So mm -hmm. right now I'm taking care of my mom 
God has stopped me in that position where I wouldn't say I'm stagnant, but I used to travel all the time. You could catch me at home. <laughs> <laughs> I had five weeks of vacation a year and I took every vacation and I did that and I, and I did basically what I wanted to do. But I think um, I did those things and were able to do those things to get ready for the position where I am now because mm. I don't do that anymore. Mm -hmm. So. But I got to go to Belize, and yeah. that was wonderful, and that was my last big trip. Yes. So, but yeah, that's the challenges, and mm -hmm. that's how I'm working myself through it now. Yeah, and I believe that everything happens to us for a reason, right? Mm -hmm. It's not happening to us, but it's happening for us. Mm -hmm. So if you could pinpoint what you feel like the gift in this new challenge mm -hmm. and what that is, because you went from being single and young mm -hmm. in college, meeting your partner, getting married, mm -hmm. having children, you know, giving yourself to your partner, nurturing your children, mm -hmm. then finally having an opportunity to live your life and then bam, now you're taking care of mom. Yeah. So what would you say <laughs> if there were a lesson or a gift that was in that challenge and, and maybe even a reason behind why this is the case at this point, what would you think that would be? Like knowing who you were, who you are now, and who you're becoming? Well, it's a gift. I look at it as a gift because um, I'm able to do it. And it's something special that mm -hmm. I could provide for my mom. Mm -hmm. um, I've learned a lot through it because other things aren't that important anymore. Right. So um, I think that that's what it would be because um you used to i used to chase after other things now i'm not right. chasing mm -hmm. it's like i'm still and i'm calm and just waiting for the lessons mm -hmm. you know and and for um just for my blessings now mm -hmm. so yeah i feel like it actually taking it in a weird way taking care of your mom mm -hmm. has opened up a space for you to take care of yourself would you mm. resonate with that? Yes, exactly. Yeah? Yeah. I've seen it. I've mm -hmm. seen the shifts. And you having to literally intentionally create space for yourself mm -hmm. in your life. You actually having to create opportunities to travel and the appreciation that comes with those times, right? Exactly. Yeah. It's like um, now um, what I do is more intentional. Boom. You know, mm -hmm. it's not um, just off the fly. Mm -hmm. Now it's intentional. And now um, I enjoy it. Well, I, I enjoyed all my <laughs> vacations. <laughs> She's like, don't get yeah, me twisted. Yeah, get I enjoyed back. all my turnips. But... <laughs> but now it's more special and I know it's like specifically yes. for me. Yes. Yes. So, yeah. Yeah. yeah One of my of quotes time. is um, stop living by default and get back in the driver's seat of your life. Right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So it's almost like you stopped living by default where yeah. everything is just in automatic and hey, life's great. Mm -hmm. And it was like a, a pause or a slowing down. Right. Mm -hmm. That allowed you to now choose situations experiences people mm -hmm. that you want to have in your life because I know there's been a lot of transitions in that area as well exactly and then that allows you to live life in living color right to to, to <laughs> yeah, right? yeah exactly more it's, vivid it's changed my uh, associations as well mm -hmm. you know um, I used to have a group of friends that I did all these things with but now I'm in another space in my life, uh, another, a different career and, and other things are more important to me right now. Mm -hmm. So I choose that over, yep. um, friends now mm -hmm. before I used to like, Oh, I'm trying to make everybody happy. Right now. It's like, I'm just making me happy. Yeah. So that's the space I'm in. And I think the last question I would ask on this topic is how would you rate the quality of your life before and its effect on who you were and how you showed up and how you felt about yourself uh, when you were being, you know, serving everybody else, making everybody mm -hmm. happy, doing all the things every time someone called saying yes versus now where you're more intentional and, and really kind of creating your life and your experiences. Well, I think the quality of my life then, um, I was always in a space of pleasing. Mm -hmm. So now um, 
I respect my life more mm. because now I'm pleasing myself. But before, it was all fun and it was all um, making other people happy because that's that's just what <laughs> that was my life. You know, it's like I'm gonna be I'm the life of the party. I'm, you know, I'm we're having a good time. I I like to give parties. You know, it's like I feel like I'm a party planner, but low key, it's just gathering my mm -hmm. friend just wherever I'm at it's it's you're gonna have a good time you know mm -hmm. I want to be the good time mm -hmm. girl mm -hmm. that's what I wanted to do but now it's like um I'm not the good time girl mm -hmm. it's 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 more um like I said before more intentional and this mm -hmm. is um precisely what I want to do or this is where I want to go and this is how I'm going to spend my money and, and, and I'm more money conscious. Yes. You know, before I, yeah. I just spent money. Yeah. You know, I wasn't on that. Um, you know, I had my uh, plans through work. You know, you, you build your 401ks, you do all that stuff, but um, I still just spent money. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, now I'm more aware of um, what I'm doing with my money and, yeah. and what I want to create and build for myself. Mm -hmm. You know, so that's how I am. That's amazing. And I'm so mm -hmm. proud of you. Congratulations <laughs> on the growth mm -hmm. uh, and ex expedient growth. Mm -hmm. Just, again, we've only known each other for a couple of years. I know, but it seems like forever. It does. It feels like <laughs> it's, it feels like we've been sisters forever. It and does. admittedly, you know, she's a part of my financial team. And sometimes people mm -hmm. get a little jealous because mm -hmm. they're like, well, you know, it's because you're a favorite or whatever. <laughs> we just had a soul connection. What can we yeah. say? So as we wrap up this episode, mm -hmm. I just want to ask you this question because I feel like in listening to you, mm -hmm. so many women suffer from the, you know, I want to, I need to do to be loved or, mm -hmm. you know, really it's like all that people pleasing is so that we feel validated, so that we feel mm -hmm. loved, so that we're filling that space within ourselves. Mm -hmm. And so now that you're not doing the people pleasing, mm -hmm. what do you think is the secret sauce that's keeping you self-full and self-loving and and being able to hold that space without having to depend on an external source i think because like i said it's because now i'm just focusing on me mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. it's it's not about um other people mm -hmm. i used to um make other um others personal um important things in their life important to me mm -hmm. And I used to make space for that, mm -hmm. for them. Mm -hmm. But when you don't get that in return, you start to think like, okay, I'm doing something wrong. You know, mm -hmm. I'm, 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 this, is, this is not the way life should be. Mm -hmm. And I just sat back and just took a look. And the COVID has helped mm -hmm. um, tremendously mm -hmm. of people sitting back in their space yeah. and, and, and learning more about themselves. So I've learned a lot more about myself by being by myself. Mm -hmm. So, and, and it doesn't excite me as much as it used mm -hmm. to, 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 to just go out and just yeah. do things. Yeah. So now I'm, look, I think I'm cured from that. Yes! <laughs> she is healed, Lord! I think All I'm right. cured from that. So, <laughs> so it's, it's okay now. Before I was like, I just have to go. You know, I just need to go. But I think I'm cured for that, from yes. that now. So. And, and that is a result of your associations. Because mm -hmm. you're... She's in the, the presence of the sacred self-care queen here. Yes, exactly. And I'm like, uh-uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you've been a big part yeah. of that, of, of helping me. I could call and, yeah. and, and talk to you about anything mm -hmm. and just sharing. And, and even being in your course right now mm -hmm. for the Unfuck Your Money mindset, you know, that's so powerful mm -hmm. in itself. And there was a self-care section in that that really helped. Mm -hmm. And um it just opened a lot of things for me. So awesome. I appreciate that. <laughs> I'm so happy that you yeah. stepped out of your comfort zone once I again have. Have. and joined me here on Living Room Wisdom. Y'all heard it here. All right. <laughs> Fill your cup first, serve from the overflow, and you're going to live a much more rich and full life. Yeah. So thanks again for joining well, us for today. Me. I'm so Thank honored. Thank you all for being here. <laughs> And make sure that you go to my YouTube channel, Patrina Wisdom. If you like what you see here and you want to continue following this conversation, subscribe to the YouTube channel. We're going to be posting videos weekly. And mm -hmm. also join our Badass Bodacious Entrepreneurs group on Facebook. Patricia will be there as well. Yes. 
Hashtag babes. And we'll look forward to seeing you next week. All right? Namaste and Bye. have a great day.